Heathens who have already, always been heathens probably won't understand why it's such a big job for someone from a judo christ Islam family to become a heathen. And I think it's probably pointless to even explain how come and why for, except for that it is. And what was I going to say about uh, what, the thing is about heathens that we, we need to learn about heathens. Um, we've got a bad opinion of heathens. Uh, if I told my mother I was a heathen, she would not think that very funny. She wouldn't think that much of an improvement over atheists. In fact, she might even think it's the worst. -er. And I had a completely different other point when I came here, and I'm going to remember it and come back again. Okay, I got it. It was the um, it was over there by, over there on the sofa. Um, Christian. Uh, what do you call them again? I can't, the, I can't go on this too much. Just the words too long. It's one of those you can write down very easy, but saying it's always hard. Judo, Chris Islam. Okay. When you boil that all down, which is a very very good idea, boil it all down. Get it all boiled down. What are they all saying? What are the? What is this holy trinity? This one divided religion that all says the same thing? Uh, and you can argue that there's reasons to kill for them to kill each other. I think maybe it's a good idea. And then maybe there's less of them. But I think that's not. I think that's a process is simply too slow, and very bloody. And you never know when a heathen may come out of this mess. And I have a feeling if we can make heathens, people understand that heathen is a nice, nobody's ever, ever going to like atheists, okay? Unless you're an atheist. But you can like heathens because they're just simply nature people. They believe that everything, everything is sort of the same. I mean, of course, if you're hungry, you're going to eat a chicken and not worry about its life. I mean, I'm not as Buddhist as that, I have to admit. And if you are, bless you, bless you. Um, perhaps we will find our way there eventually. But uh, some of us like meat, and I don't. I ain't proud of it. But I'm one of them. Okay, there. I admitted another sin. Well. Um, Okay, I don't think it's such a problem if people want to eat meat, but it is a problem if we want to eat too much meat, and it's especially a very big problem if we want to eat fish and we put 90% of the fish dead back in the ocean. Now think about how bloody retarded that is. 90% of the fish that end up in nets end up dead back in the ocean. Okay, I didn't want to talk about fish right now, but ultimately I think if I was a kid, of six year old, years old and somebody said, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'll say, I want to give a voice to the fish who seem to be rotted out of the ocean for no particular reason at all. Okay, um, so I guess it's all right that we talk about the fish there when we're talking, trying to talk about heathens because, see, the, the thing about heathens is they think, well, I mean, they think all different things. That's one of the very nice things about heathens which I didn't even think about till this very second, is they think very many different things. I mean, I've talked to Hindus and I think, well, that's sort of the same as I think of it, but from a completely different direction. And brilliant. That's great. So, I mean, the heathens have actually a great, a vast wealth of support already. and They need to be coming together. And we can't call ourselves atheists when we know that we are angels. We know this. I can prove it to you. If I have to write a children's book, I will. But you will understand we are here and we are actually communicating with one another and we are doing it in such an amazing, fascinating way on the instinctive level that if you saw it, you would be flipping out a lot more than I am because I am much more controlled than you might think. And, um, okay, so, okay, the final... Putting together of it, I'm sure this makes a lot of sense to everybody. Um, the Judo Chris Islam belief in faith, believe what you were told. Okay, it is simply the exact backwards. Now, this makes us very pretty because it makes it very simple, but not easy, unfortunately. And what they say is there was one entity 
before everything existed, and that entity created everything so that human beings could use the planet Earth to do with what they pleased as long as they worshipped Him. Okay? That is what all three religions say right there. Okay? And what heathenism says, what heathenism says is, I don't know, but I think it could be a little bit like this. And then they will say, well, I think it's a bit like this. And then they sit around the fire and they talk about it. And then they talk about it for a few more thousand years. And before you know it, they're saying, well, I think the earth is actually going around the sun. What? The earth is going around the sun? Do you have any idea what will happen if we say that out loud and someone from the Judo-Christ Islam religion hears us saying that? They will definitely kill us. Now, I think this is a problem, okay? Because we need to know that the moon is actually a big lump of rock and not a piece of cheese. It's relevant. Especially when we stop being stupid and get off the planet.